द रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर जाकिर नाइक सर आई एम मोजाहर हुसैन सिटी ऑफ रामपुर हथ वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया डू यू हैव एनी ट्रिक फॉर मेमोराइजिंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट वर्स ऑफ द कुरान और बुक्स ऑफ द सेम थिंग असिमिलर क्वेश्चन आस मेबर द फहीम फ्रॉम कश्मीर फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान डू यू हैव अ फोटोग्राफिक मेमरी वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड योर फिनल मेमरी एंड अगेन द आंसर इज द सेम वॉट आई गिव अलियर दैट फर्स्ट इज अल्लाह हेल्प सेकेंड इज स्ट्रगलिंग एंड स्ट्राइविंग and third is technique there are various techniques for memory which you get when you do mba courses which is called as mapping and all the others and believe me all these techniques have got limitations the best is the help of allah certain things are there that when you memorize something after about 20 minutes again rehearse it again rehearse it after 2 hours again after few hours the more you rehearse it and revise it the more chance it will be part of you then next day the more you use it the more it becomes part of your memory and once it goes into your permanent memory then even if you don't revise it will be in your memory for example surah fatiha almost all the muslims all the muslims know surah fatiha even you get up from your sleep and they ask you to recite you can recite because that has gone in the permanent memory so the more you revise the more you practice it becomes part of memory i don't consider myself that i have got photogenic memory So what I do is I strive. I have to keep on revising. I know that if this lecture has about 100, 150 quotations from Quran and Hadith, if I don't revise, maybe I may say 90 percent. If I revise, I may be able to say 99 percent. So before every lecture, I try and revise as much as possible so that it is closer to the accuracy. So more you strive, the more you struggle, the more you have faith in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Inshallah, you'll be more successful.